Hey guys, talking about a super cool money game called Hammer. And uh, I'm sure there are other names for it, but Hammer's a game that I used to play in college with my buddies. Real good test of especially your putting and short game confidence. And, uh, but something you can play with groups, with teams, with strokes. Uh, it is match play, but with a little bit of poker in there. And uh, you know, you're trying to win as much money as you can when you got good hands. Hope you find it interesting. This is the Golf Essentials Podcast with Casey Borg. It's funny, seems like the gambling conversations are what's resonating with my community uh, more than anything else. And uh, I had a, an old college teammate reach out to me, and, uh, and he reminded me of this money game that we used to play that we called Hammer. And, um, and it was really good in college because the math is really easy when all the players are more or less the same ability level. There's no calculating s strokes here and there. And um, so Hammer is super cool because um, at the end of the day, it's just match play. Um, but what you're manipulating during the course of the hole is the bet. And you're manipulating the bet based on who's got leverage or who's in better position to win the hole. So if you're in better position, you would hammer the other person and they can either accept it and play the hole for an, an upped ante or they can decline and forfeit the hole that instant, right? So, um, and it's based on all right, if you're in good position, you hammer the other person and then maybe they hit a miraculous shot and now they're in better position or they they make a long putt and you can hammer when, when you've already made the putt. <laughs> and um, so I'll give you an example, a hypothetical of a, of a really good hole. So what you do is you you sort of set what the, the starting bet for each hole is going to be. So in college, we used to do it for a dollar and so which which doesn't seem like much until you realize that we're playing in foursomes and you've got a hammer game with each of the other three <laughs> so you're just um from across the fairway you'd you'd pump your fist and that would be the symbol for hammer and then they'd either give you the decline or the thumbs up to accept or or or, or give in and um so if somebody hits it in the water all three would hammer that guy and he'd probably just decline and lose three bucks um but anyway, let let's do a hypothetical. I'm gonna I'm gonna make pretend that I'm playing in a hammer match with you, and um, so uh, let's say that I tee it up first. We got a par four, a good solid par four, and, and and we tee it up, and and I hit my tee shot. I hook it out into the left left woods, and it looks like it could be okay, or you know, it could be behind some trees. We're not quite sure. The thing to note in hammer is that you're not allowed to, um, once somebody hammers you, you have to answer immediately. If You can hammer any time, but you have to answer immediately. You can't wait till you get up to your ball and then decide. It has to be. Um, but um, so after I hit my shot, you see that, um, you know, I'm sort of precarious. And then you stripe yours down the middle. So you're 40 yards ahead of me in the middle of the fairway and I'm sort of hooked into the woods a little bit. So you hammer me and, and I accept. So we start out, we're, we're playing for a dollar. Now the bet is $2. Okay. So we're walking up and we get up or driving up to our balls and sure enough, I'm stymied. So I have to punch out and I do so I get it out in the fairway and now you're licking your chops. You've got 160 yards in and, um, and you hit your approach shot into the greenside bunker. So now I've got 100 and 110 yards to the green and you're in a greenside bunker, sort of, you know, things have evened out a little bit, but we're playing for two bucks. And so I, I wedge mine onto the green. I hit a good shot. I hit it to like six feet from the hole. Now you're in the bunker. You've got a pretty easy bunker shot and you splash it out and so-so and you leave yourself like 12 feet. So we're both putting for par you're putting from 12 feet, I'm putting from six feet. And you go ahead and you roll yours in the hole. So you make your par putt, you're in the hole with a four. 
you decide to hammer me. So you hammer me. You have nothing to lose. I'm putting for par. And now the bet goes to four bucks. Uh, each time you hammer, the bet doubles typically. Um, so now it's, now it's four bucks. And I have to decide, do I forfeit the whole, like how confident am I, am I in my putting, right? I either forfeit $2 or I try to make for $4 where the best I can do is tie. And that's kind of how hammer works. It's really a cool play with friends that you know well and you're, you're cool with sort of needling them a little bit. Um, but it's a really especially good play for uh, good putters win a lot because you can really turn the tables. If you, if you make a putt outside of the other person, you can hammer them when you have nothing to lose. And now it's up to them to figure out, do I have the confidence to, to knock it in for double the bet or am I just going to give it up, you know? So uh, really cool game. Uh, you could play it with teams. It gets complicated. It gets more complicated with strokes too. Um, but it's a really cool test of, of your confidence. And uh, if you can find some, some folks that are, you know, similar playing ability level. You can do it with strokes, of course. It's just you got to figure it out, and you know, what what's happening when uh, when people are getting strokes. But uh, at the end of the day, it's just match play. And kind of like poker, when you've got good hands, you want to make sure that you win as much money as you can. And, um, oh, by the way, when you hammer, um, you are not allowed to hammer twice in a row. So typically what happens is... You know, a case like that where the tables turn twice, you get two hammers in the case in the course of a hole. Um, normally, you know, if, if you hammer once, um, it needs to be that the other person hammers you back before you can hammer again. And um, so, really fun game. Um, you can, you know, play around with it. And uh, I know we had a lot of fun with it in college. And, uh, you know, maybe if you start with two bucks or whatever. Um, then it goes four, eight, sixteen. If you get to a sixteen dollar hole, maybe a par five or something after some action, um, could be pretty interesting to have to make a six, you know, a six or eight footer um, to tie for sixteen bucks, something like that. So, hope you find it helpful, guys. And uh, reach out if you got any other cool games that uh, that you've played, and uh, be glad to share them and talk about them. Cheers. Hey guys, I'm all about bringing value, so shoot me all of the questions that you have, cbork at pga.com. If you like the stuff, be sure to share it and subscribe on whatever channels you're watching it on, Apple Podcasts, Google Casts, any of those channels. You should be able to subscribe easily so you get every episode. Thanks, guys.